Hi, I'm Angela. I'm Marwa. And these are the gas laws. So what are gas laws? Gas laws are the physical laws that describe the properties of gases. They deal with how gases behave with respect to pressure measured in ATM, kilopascal, tors, and millimeters of mercury. And on the right here, there are conversions. Volume, which is measured in liters and milliliters. Temperature, measured in Kelvin. And amount, which is measured in moles and mass. Here is a sneak peek of six gas laws. There's Boyle's law, Charles' law, Gay-Lussac's law, Dalton's law, combined gas law, and ideal gas law. So our first law is Boyle's law. The equation says the initial pressure of a Nike shoebox is 11 kPa. The initial volume is 4.0 liters. If the box is damaged and the volume is 2.1 liters, what is the final pressure? So we're looking for pressure. Boyle's law is P1V1 equals P2V2, pressure and volume. So we always have to start off by writing off outer givens. So our first given is pressure, P1 equals 11 kPa, kilopascals. Then our volume, V1, is 4.0 liters, L, and then volume 2 is 2.1 liters, and we are looking for pressure in kPa. That's our unknown. So our equation, we're just going to write it out. And then since we're looking for P2, we're going to divide off our V2 to get P2 by itself. And you just do that by doing basic algebra. And then once we have our new equation, we're just going to plug everything in. And then once everything is plugged in and we make sure it's all good, then we just plug the numbers into the calculator. So 11 times 4 divided by 2.1 gives us this really long decimal. So the final answer needs to have the correct amount of sig figs, but for now we're just going to write down the calculator value in kPa. Always keep your units. And then our new rounded value will be 21 kPa. So the next law we're going to go over is Dalton's law of partial pressure. And according to this, this law just has to do with pressure. And the law states that the total pressure exerted by the mixture of gases is the sum of the partial pressure of each gas. So let's look at the problem. It says a container has three gases, oxygen, nitrogen, and chlorine gas. The partial pressure of oxygen and nitrogen are 17.6 torr and 13.9 torr respectively. The total pressure is 43.8 torr. What is the partial pressure of Cl2 in ATM? So let's start with our givens. The partial pressure of oxygen is 17.6 torr. The partial pressure of nitrogen is 13.9 torr. The total pressure is 43.8 torr. And now we're solving for the partial pressure of Cl2 in ATM. And now we're going to write our equation, P total equals PO2 plus PN2 plus PCl2. Now we're going to rearrange our equation, so we're solving for PCl2. So we subtract the PO2 and PN2 over to the other side. Now we plug in our numbers. 43.8 tor, remember your units, 17.6 tor and 13.9 tor. And then you just plug it into the calculator, you get 12.3, it's the correct amount of sig figs because it has the same number of decimal places. But we're not done because we have a different unit, we have to solve an ATM. And that's just a simple conversion using dimensional analysis. So writer given, 12.3 tor. And then at the bottom, write TOR, top ATM, and then use the conversions. There is one ATM in 760 TOR. Plug it in. And then you do three sig figs. So the final answer would be 0 0.0162 ATM. And that's the final answer. So now we're going to be doing Charles Law and Charles Law deals with volume and temperature. So we have our equation V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. So now for the equation, Karen was preparing for a birthday party at her home. 
She inflates several balloons with exactly 1.5 liters of helium in her living room, which was 24 degrees Celsius. She took the balloons outside. It was January, so the outside temperature was 2.0 degrees Celsius. Later that night, Karen found the balloons deflated. What was their volume now? So we're solving for V2, but we're going to write down our givens. So V1 equals 1.5 liters, T1 equals 24 degrees Celsius, and T2 equals 2.0 degrees Celsius. And we're solving for V2, which will be in liters. So now we need to convert Celsius to Kelvin, and we're going to do that by adding 273 Kelvin to each one. So T2 is 275 Kelvin now, and then T1 is 297 Kelvin. So now that all of our units are good, we're going to now write down the equation. So V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, but we need V2, so we're going to cross multiply. V2 T1 equals V1 T2, and then we're going to get V2 by itself. So our new equation is V2 equals V1 T2 over T1. So now we're just going to plug everything in. 1.5 liters, 275 Kelvin, all over 297 Kelvin. And then once you have this, all you need to do is plug it into your calculator. So you're going to get a really long decimal, 1.388, etc. But we need to remember sig figs. So we're going to look at the smallest amount, which is 2, round up, and our final answer is 1.4 liters. So the next law is Gay-Lussac's law, and according to this equation, this law has to do with pressure and temperature. There is a direct relationship between these two variables because as pressure increases, temperature increases, and as, temp as pressure decreases, temperature also decreases, and vice versa. So let's read the question. Oranges from Florida are thrown into a wooden crate and shipped to Virginia stores. The pressure of the crate in Florida was 1.09 atm. The temperature was 298 kelvin. What was the temperature of the crate in Virginia if the pressure decreased to 1.04 atm? So let's start with our givens. The initial pressure was 1.09 atm. The initial temperature was 298 Kelvin. And because this is already in the SI unit, there is no need for a conversion. And the pressure decreased to 1.04 atm, so that is our final pressure. And in this problem, we are solving for the final temperature of the crate in Kelvin. So let's write our equation. P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. We need to isolate the T2 since that's what we're solving for. And we can do that through cross multiplication. So P1 T2 equals P2 T1. Then we divide both sides by P1. So the equation would be T2 equals P2 T1 over P1. Now you just plug in the numbers with their units. 298 Kelvin. And then you just plug it into the calculator. And then you get 284.330 Kelvin. Look at the sig figs in the original calculation. The lowest is three, so you have to round to the third sig fig. And that is the four, the three it makes it stay the same, so the final answer is 284 Kelvin. The next law is the combined gas law, and this includes pressure, volume, and temperature. A Jeep Wrangler is driving under the sun in the desert. The tire pressure is 195 kilopascals. The volume is 15 liters. The temperature of the desert is 40 degrees Celsius. The Jeep drives until night. The tire volume decreased to 9 liters. The temperature is now negative 4 degrees Celsius. What is the final tire pressure? So we're going to write down the givens. The initial pressure is 195 kPa. 
the initial volume is 15 liters. And the initial temperature of the desert is 40 degrees Celsius. So the final pressure, that is what we are solving for in KPA. The final volume is 9 liters. And the temperature decreased and is now negative 4 degrees Celsius. Before we even solve, we need to convert the temperatures to Kelvin. So you just add 273 Kelvin and uh, plug it into the calculator. So 40 degrees Celsius is equal to 313 Kelvin. And negative 4 degrees Celsius is equal to 269 Kelvin. Now we can solve. So write the equation P1 V1 T1 equals P2 T2 or P2 V2 over T2, sorry. Cross multiply, P1 V1 T2 equals P2 V2 T1. And then you divide by V2, and it's T1, I accidentally messed up and rewrote it as T2. Cross them out, so P2 equals P1 V1 T2 over V2 T1. And now you just plug in all the numbers. Again, remember the units. into the calculator and you get 279.313 kPa. Look at sig figs in the calculation, the lowest is 9, so you round to the first sig fig, so the final answer is 300 kPa. So now for their final gas law, ideal gas law. So ideal gas law is different from all of the other ones because this one deals with pressure, volume, moles, universal gas constant, R, and T. So N is moles. So the universal gas constant, R, is 0 0.08206 liters of ATM over Kelvin of mole. So notice these are all standardized units for gas laws. And we need to make sure that in our equation, before calculating, everything needs to be in one of those four units. So the equation, a room is completely filled with 2,187 grams of C4H8Cl2S. The room's pressure is 1.12 atm and the temperature is 20 degrees. What's the room's volume? So first off, we notice that we have grams and in the equation, there's no grams. We have moles instead. So that means we need to convert grams into moles. But for now, we're just gonna keep it like that. And then we have 1.12 atm and temperature, which is 20 degrees Celsius, and we're looking for volume. So the givens, we're temporarily gonna keep this. So 2187 grams of C4HACL2S. So we're gonna convert to, to moles later. So we also, so we have two unknowns right now. Then our pressure is 1.12 atm, that's good. Our temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, which needs to be converted to Kelvin as always. And then our volume is also unknown. And then the universal gas constant, we just added that. And then our temperature is now in Kelvin. So now we're going to do molar mass conversion to turn it from grams to moles by using the molar mass, which I calculated on my own time, and then bring it over one mole, so you guys already know how to do this. And now our new calculation is 13.75 moles of C4H8Cl2S, because we gotta keep in mind sig figs. So now I'm just gonna color code that for moles, and then now we can start our equation. So PV equals NRT, and then we're looking for V, so get V by itself, just like all the other ones. So that's our new equation, and now we just plug everything in. So plug in for moles, 13.75, and then our universal gas constant, 0.08206 liters of ATM over Kelvin moles. You have to memorize that. And then we're just gonna squeeze in temperature here at the top, 293K. And then on the bottom, we have 1.12 ATM, now all we need to do, just like the other ones, is calculate it. 
So our decimal value is 295.178 and our rounded sig fig value is going to have three sig figs, which is 295 liters. And everything. Yeah. What about gas laws?